no doubt that uh, the reservoir implantation is the most difficult and complicated step in inflatable penile prosthesis implantation. Uh, so I uh, sought to uh, innovate a new uh, generation of uh, inflatable penile prosthesis that uh, make this step easy to do for younger generation of doctors. I will introduce this, uh, my concept and my idea, and I want the comment of my colleague about uh, this uh, modification uh, uh, about uh, uh, the importance uh, uh, of this uh, modification, about the efficacy of this modification. In the past few decades, penile processes have gained more importance as treatment for erectile dysfunction in men. Data from the United States shows that total, uh, of total implant surgery were done between 2005 and 2012, over half of this number was from inflatable type of processes. يعني نص ال 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 implant اللي تعمل في أمريكا في الفترة دي من كل التخصصات كان نص العدد ده inflatable penile processes. Since the first penile implant was introduced in 1973, there have been several advanced device designs that improve patient outcomes. During implantation of three pieces implants, the reservoir implantation is not hard yet annoying step during the surgery. In this presentation, we present a new advancement in the known technique of surgery that could offer faster and easier implantation for surgery. Also, we are going to present our imaging advanced to the reservoir design, which could be used in the future to apply this technique. Reservoir is the most common implanted in either retropubic space of rhesus, which is the standard approach, or intra-abdominal submuscular space, which is the ectopic approach, which rely on retracting the external inguinal ring to create a space just above the pubic tubercle and under the scar scarbus fascia to ensure submuscular insertion instead of an intramuscular insertion. Faulty reservoir placement technique can lead to complications such as displacement and subcutaneous reservoir resulting in bulging and disfigurement. This is the a new idea or, or the new design of the reservoir. كل الفكرة إن إحنا عايزين هنزود attachment site the reservoir بحيث نقدر نحط في thread زي ما إحنا شايفين. In the future, it would be easier if the reservoir designed are modified to add a small attachment site in the top of the reservoir, which the surgeon can use to tie the guiding thread in the concept that currently applied in the prosthesis road itself. So in similar way to, the, to that used for the prosthesis road, surgeon would be able to use the ferro tools to easily insert the needle guiding the reservoir to correct the position in the ectopic submuscular space. Our technique depends on using the ferro device for ectopic reservoir implantation. The modified reservoir, which is described, should be supplied by the inflatable process manufacturer and used for this step. The modified reservoir is loaded by the thread attached to ferro needle. After dissecting the submuscular space, the ferro device should introduce the guiding needle to the space and pinch the skin. The needle is used to pull the reservoir to its final position. After reservoir in the position, the thread can be removed in the same manner as during slender implantation. The thread can also be used to fix the reservoir in its position by making a small incision at the exit point of the thread, and then it is tied beneath the skin to secure the reservoir in the place, to prevent it from slipping or moving. The wound is then closed with surgical stitch. For the reservoir, using this approach would make the implantation step definitely easier, which would be reflected on the surgery time that would be reduced significantly. 
Also, it would be a faster step, especially in case of young surgeon who might face some difficulties during this stage of procedure. Another advantage of this new approach for reservoir implantation would be the reduction in operation time, which was associated with decreased infection rate postoperatively. In addition, the shorten the learning curve for young surgeons who would benefit from this method. In this short presentation, we introduce a new method for reservoir insertion that could offer great advantage for implanters and the patients worldwide. Also, this technique is easy to learn and can easily be applied in normal setting using available surgical tool. Prospective studies are needed to assess the difference in surgical method and the learning curve using this method. Also, future studies are needed to assess the risk of infection using this method to explore the full risk and disadvantages of technique. Now, we will uh, see animation video uh, explore the idea. As pioneers in the medical field, Dr. Osama Gattas and his team have developed a revolutionary design for inflatable penile prosthesis. And it will make inflatable prosthesis implantation an easier process for younger generations of doctors. Currently, there are two main categories of prostheses, malleable and inflatable. Despite the time-consuming steps and difficulties involved in reservoir and pump implantation, the inflatable penile prosthesis offers a more natural functionality as it can be easily inflated and deflated before and after sexual intercourse when performing ectopic reservoir implantation for the inflatable penile prosthesis surgeons have to dissect into the submuscular space of the abdominal wall above transverse fascia and insert the reservoir using an ovum holder the reservoir is then filled to keep it in place although this technique has a higher success rate there are potential complications, such as hernias or intramuscular insertion, that can occur. Additionally, patients may face a higher risk of reservoir movement after the surgery. Dr. Gattas has addressed these challenges by creating a new prosthesis that simplifies the implantation of the reservoir, as it incorporates adding a surgical thread attachment site to the top of the reservoir. To guide the reservoir to the submuscular space, the surgeon can fix a surgical thread to the site using a needle loaded onto the furlough surgical tool. The furlough technique offers a smoother and more precise positioning of the reservoir, in contrast to traditional implantation methods. After the reservoir is in position, the thread can be removed in the same manner as during cylinder implantation. The thread can also be used to fix the reservoir in its position. By making a small incision at the exit point of the thread, and then the thread is tied beneath the skin to secure the reservoir in place and prevent it from slipping or moving. The wound is then closed with surgical stitches. I want the opinion of uh, Dr. Carlo, Dr. Yasser Farhat, um... هو من أكثر الناس اللي بيركب بالريزرفوار اكتوبيك دكتور حمدان كنت عايز رأيه في حاجة زي كده. Well, Dr. Gattas, you know, I'm obs I have obsession about, you know, ectopic reservoir placement. And I think this is really smart. And I don't think it will cost the implant company anything to put, you know, a small thread at the distal end of the, of the reservoir, right? But I think they have to modif modify the furlough so it can cope the reservoir when you insert it. But I think it's really, really smart. And, you know, uh, in a while, uh, I will present the ectopic reservoir placement. And I think if I have your solution, it will be a perfect. Thank you. Dr. Carlo, what do you think? I think, uh, uh, as I told you when, we, when you first presented to me this uh, possible new technique, that now is reality, that is, uh, is really great. Yeah, I think that the major advantage is not uh, only the easy way to put the reservoir in the proper space, but it's the fact that you can fix it at the end. That's really the tricky, in my opinion, because this will avoid the reservoir to uh, degrade as sometimes it happens, and this is a big problem when it happens because you need to do everything again. And uh, so I think it's brilliant, and I hope that the company will support your idea because it's absolutely future.
Thanks. Thank you. So, yes, sir. Uh, and see, it's really brilliant ideas, and I uh, really appreciate what you did for both uh, securing the easy uh, insertion of the reservoir and fixing it to avoid any further movement. But I think it needs, as you mentioned, to, to be uh, evaluated in prospect of a study to see how uh, the difference it will make. And if the same uh, fair look could work because you know you need to do some dilatation when you go to a topic to, to, for the space to accommodate the reservoir. So how this would be achieved or will, uh, so I think it needs more clinical evaluation uh, to, to be uh, supported uh, for the manufacturer to, to, to go for it. But it's a brilliant idea, really appreciate it. هو الحقيقة أنا جربتها دكتور ياسر يعني جربتها بطريقة عملية بس اضطريت إن أنا يعني أبوظ الريزرفوار بس جربنا دخلنا لقينا الفيرلو دخل والريزرفوار اتثبت كانت لطيفة يعني فالمهم بقى إن شركات الدعامات ممكن تفكر تطور لنا الدعامة بالطريقة دي في حد من الحضور ممكن يقول لنا رأيه في أنا متشكر جدا يا جماعة شكرا